Yeah, and actually, it, it was during COVID. Remember that? I know. We had the, it was like a sci-fi. Yeah, yes. the screens. Yeah, so it was when I talked to everybody via screen. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I like you physically in person more. Absolutely, yes. yeah. <laughs> and we can, like, How are, thank you, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we can see, like, so wait, them. it's New Year's now. So what, what, what do y'all do in Venezuela? Do you have any, like, special things y'all do? Um, in Venezuela, many. Uh, there, is, there is one that I used to do when I was a kid. Yeah? And it really, it really paid off. What? You you go around. I mean, r when the clock hits twelve, yeah. you hug everybody, and then you take a suitcase and go around the block, running around the block, and that will give you a lot of travels. You know, I um, like during the this. year. So I did it a lot when I was a kid, and now I'm traveling all the time. You're traveling all the time. It so, works. Yeah, it Do works. it. That's kids. It pays off. Do it. <laughs> There's something with grapes as well, right? Because uh, I think they yeah. do the same thing in Mexico. Because I've done, I was in Mexico uh -huh. once and they were like, they all of a sudden there were grapes at the table. And yeah. I think they do the same thing in Venezuela. The same thing. So each, I have no idea. So each, each, it's 12 grapes for, for the mm -hmm. months of the year. And it's 12, yeah, it's 12 months, yeah. right? Yeah, of yeah. course. There are 12 months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's, so, it's, so it's 12 wishes. Yeah. And then right before the clock hits 12, then you have to eat them. Yes. And make a wish for each grape. Yeah. Yeah. I thought whenever I was doing, I heard someone in because I was drinking tequila, uh -huh. uh, yeah, and I heard <laughs> them say you have to eat it in the first minute. Yeah. But I think it's actually you have to eat them each minute, like the first twelve minutes. So I was like, just, just, I wanted I my was, wishes to come true. I was just like you. I yeah, ate I, them I was so doing fast. It, yeah, I was doing it in the twelve seconds before. Yeah, I did it. I that. yeah. Somebody was like, no, no, no. It was like one a minute, and I was like, no, I didn't hear that. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I got yeah. my wishes though. So yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, you um, yeah. Well, speaking of travel, Edgar actually recently went to Croatia. So here's a video. What's happening, oh my man? God. Oh my God. What I, is this dance? If I only knew what was happening there. I, I, I feel end, like I, I did this in show choir once. I, <laughs> I, en I ended up on a boat with a bunch of Croatian and Bosnian people, and then suddenly they played that music, they started to dance, and it just joined in. I like it. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah. it's like a folk. Good. Yeah, it feels good. I like yeah, jumping. Yeah. It's good yeah. for yeah. lymphatic yeah. system. Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> Do you like dancing in general? Uh, yeah, I'm from Venezuela. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, he said, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, I Caribbean. love dancing. Yeah, I love dancing. It makes too. me feel so good. Yeah. Okay, we have something else in common. Um, you love collecting watches. Yeah, I do. Yeah, so I love giving watches okay. as a gift because I, I don't wear them generally, but it's I love. Christmas, okay, so, okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, I love watches. I, I don't actually like knowing the time which uh -huh. is weird because it rushes me and I want to live my life yeah. but I love watches like the well, art of them are so beautiful yeah, I mean what you love what you love is the is the is the is the beauty of the watches yeah. it's like a, it's like, it's and a, you it's write jewelry. I always get them like um, engraved like with yeah. a little message when you give yeah ah, that's very cute Do you, so you collect them right I collect yeah I mean I used to say that I had a watch collection but actually now it's my dad's watch collection because every time he come he comes visit then he says, oh, that watch is so cute. Can I have it? Takes your oh, watch. That's so cute. Can I use it for a little bit? And then he just takes it home. So now you it's and your like father have our a collection. watch collections. Yeah. 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 It used to be mine, but now well, it's going to be mine anyway. Do you get but... into pocket watches? That's what yeah. I'm obsessed with specifically. Pocket watches? I, I just think know. they're have... so cool with but the chain. But the ones like you with a chain? Oh, no. Yes. I have, I, well, I should, I should look into that. Oh, man. Yeah. They're really cool. Yeah, but they're... Yeah. But you do, but but you do. You look, do, I tried but to. But you have I, the chain, right? I, well, I give them as gifts, like okay. a lot of time. Like I've, or I've done it a few. Yeah, they're very cool. Yeah. Do you have a significance behind this watch? Yeah, I mean, it was a gift. It was oh. a gift for for a very you know special premiere at the you know Cannes Film Festival. In France. Yeah. And then I have this big movie, and I walk up this you know the red. Yeah. Carpet. It the was stairs, pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty. You know, it's a it's a beautiful life. You know, I, we love, I mean, it's, yes, very it's blessed. It's like a reminder of. That maybe some things have been done well. Yeah. You know? So it's like I don't know. It's a. It's a. It has Did a very. Did things right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I don't like anything unless there's meaning behind it. I like yeah. a meaning. Yeah. Totally. Because I'm not really materialistic in no, general. No. 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 It's, it's it's how it's how the intention is 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 is, is bound to the to the yeah. object. It's not the object on, on itself. Yeah. Is Agreed. is the memories and what. You Absolutely. Know, what the, the beautiful memories that they bring to you. I agree. That's yeah. why I like tattoos yeah, as well. I, I'm covered. I don't have, I, yeah, I don't have tattoos. Oh, man. At all. I haven't found, like, an image to... Don't, leave. if you find one, don't worry. Then you'll find 20 more. Like, That's it's like, happens. yeah, you yeah, get one, and then you're yeah. like, this is fun. Yeah, and then, yeah. I mean, mine are all memories. The same kind of thing. Mine are all, you know, places and things. And you can that. look at all of them? Or... No, not the one. I often forget there's one on my back right shoulder. I forgot, okay. and I got that in Amsterdam. I was not high. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got it because there's um, Hanky there. He did a lot of us on tour when we were there touring, and I was okay. like, and it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it, and it's big. <laughs> but anyway, um, the, what, so I heard that you were a journalist at one point. Yeah, I was so a where, before. what, when did that career switch happen? Well, um, you know what, and that and that brings me back to the to the to, to the New Year's tradition. Yeah. I always wanted I always wanted to travel. That was I, I wanted to be a journalist so that I could get, become a international correspondent mm -hmm. so that I could travel. Yeah. And I always and I also wanted to be a diplomat because my dad was a military attaché and sort of like a military diplomat. Yeah. So I wanted to do something in life that would allow me to travel and get to know interesting people and have great conversations and yeah. that's pretty much what I'm doing. So I was like both those jobs uh, entail that. Exactly. Yeah. So then but this a there was, a, there was something that happened towards my last year at university. A friend of mine invited me to do a short film. And then I said, but I'm not an actor. And I said, well, but I need like someone like you. It's like an experimental, abstract, weird um, um, Wait, short they film. Called, oh, I thought that he was saying, I need someone like you. Weird, abstract. We, <laughs> I thought he was describing much. the character. Yeah, exactly. Could it be coma or we start coma weird? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh someone like you, coma, weird, <laughs> yeah. abstract. And, um, and all I had to do was just to make out with this girl in a latex, latex wow. suit. And in a latex yeah, suit? Yeah, they bleach my hair. I know that's going to that's gonna bite I wanna, me. That's going to come back to I want to find that's this. That's going to come back to me yeah. soon. I don't know. Uh, well, but yes, that exists it's somewhere. And oh, my then, God. And then it turned out to be a quite, you know, apparently decent short film. And then it got yeah. selected in a film festival for students and... You then got the one, bug. And then one thing led to another, and then here I am talking to Kevin. Yeah, and you're so good. Yeah. You're such a great actor. It's so Thank interesting you. that you haven't had that dream Thank like you. since you are a kid, because you're so good at it. Thank you so much. Yeah. And that was a look at his series, Dr. Death. You can see it on Peacock. Man, this story is crazy. And it's crazy because it's real. So why, yeah. why did you want to do this series? Um, because it's crazy. It is. And it's real. Yeah. And um and it went on for too long. Right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh it's um it's a very I love the show. And mm -hmm. I love I, lo I loved I love the 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 idea of working with Mandy Moore who's amazing. Yeah. And to fall in love with her mm -hmm. in this very twisted love story, but a love story nonetheless. So it is true crime, but I think it shows very interesting because it has a love story mm -hmm. right at the core of it. And I think that that also increases the tension because you know that it's a doomed love story. Yeah. Um, um, so I, I don't want to give out too much. Yeah, and the fact uh, that she's want... an investigative reporter. To, yeah, and, <laughs> like, then, and, like, then, and then this guy basically was, is a con artist, you know? Yeah. And he, and, he, and he... Brilliantly done. Brilliantly, and he was lying to everybody. But for him, it was a fantasy. He was fantasizing. He was in the middle of a fantasy and committed to his to his to his fantasy yeah and just and a just complete damaging. narcissist yeah absolutely that's <laughs> yeah. what it is yeah yeah so 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 it was very it was a good challenge it was a very interesting challenge for me yeah, yeah. I think it would be kind of fun if you're an actor to play a role like that rather than like a normal like it's 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 I don't know it seems more fun to play someone that's more like out there normally when people when people when people are the you know at the unfortunate receiving end of a manipulation mm -hmm. or a deceit the question is always, how could she believe him? How could they believe those lies? Yeah. But that shouldn't be the question. Yeah, absolutely. The question is, how can someone devote their entire talents to damage other people? And, and how does that not make people? you sick? Yeah. It's, yeah, exactly. But this guy, there, he will never, there was never an admission of- No remorse. No, no. remorse, no, no accountability. So yeah, it was- Major it was God very complex, intense. yeah. 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 So, uh, the, uh, I don't know, you have such a great relationship with your doctors because I've heard that you and maybe some of your family members yeah. have a heart condition. Yeah, so exactly. you've had like a great relationship with yeah, doctors that's the your thing. whole that's life. Why, yeah, that's why, that's why the whole thing was so, was such a sensitive matter for me because I know how like, can important... Can you imagine I, if you had a doctor like that? No, though? of yeah. course not. That's the thing that, I, that I, I know how important it is to trust your doctors. You know, mm -hmm. I've had very close relationships with doctors due to my family's you know, uh, um, my health conditions and the one that I had when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So I know how important it is to trust them and how much hope you put in them. Mm -hmm. So for this and character, trust. for this person to, to betray that trust, I mean, he knew, he knew his patients' names, he knew their dreams, he knew their relatives' names, and he was able to... To take betray, that in to, exactly, and still betray. Exactly, that yeah. is so yeah. crazy to me. Um, well, you mentioned Manny Moore um, yeah. playing your love interest. I love her. Easy to fall in love with. I mean, yeah. so easy to fall in yeah. love with her. Look at that. But how did you 
you guys. How did you guys keep, oh my God, y'all look like right there, you look like, like when you buy a picture frame at a store, yeah. you look like the couple. That's amazing. That's who we are, That's we are the couple. That's yeah, um, amazing. So, so how did you guys keep it light though? Cause it's a very intense we, film. We hit it off right away. Um, we met shortly before we started shooting yeah. um, in LA. We shot most of the show here in New York. And, and the chemistry was just right there. You know, we, yeah. we really, we were able to trust each other right away and become each other's safety net because, you know, these waters were very murky yeah. to navigate, the waters of this show. Um, but we're very similar. We have very similar work ethics and mm. we're both Aries. That's oh, my you're both sign. leaders. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we, 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 we hit it off right away and we, we really have very similar ways to approach the, the, the That's work. That's helpful, yeah. So we committed to the story very strongly and then by the time we wrapped we were already back to normal so we yeah we put that's so everything cool how actors the, yeah. can do that just go in and like and be this other human and then like go to dinner that night and yeah like, that's exactly like, what we did that is crazy yeah. <laughs> you're really good liars <laughs> like, uh, it's like, but you know but, but you know what that's the thing that's the thing and that relates to my character we're not a lot of people assume that from actors i was totally being no i know but, yeah, it's, yeah. but, but it's in, I, I know yeah. but it's interesting um because you have to believe acting, you're actually that. Acting, acting is a is a is, is an expert. You within the context of acting of acting, everything within it is fictional, but your relationship to it is it's real. It's real, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're doing the opposite of lying. Yeah. You're fantasizing, yeah. which is different from lying. You're believing I what is happening to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, is a, it, 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 is a, it is a huge difference. Yeah. So and that also is what my character did. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, that's it, what he did in life. He exactly, had to. Exactly, yeah. So it was like acting type of within acting. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Man. Do you ever, we were talking in the break how you love to yeah. snowboard. Yeah. Uh, you learn skills like this for movies and roles yeah, that you yeah, do. Yeah, so like, do you keep a lot of those like afterwards? Well, yeah. I mean, I keep. I, I, yeah, oh, that's, beautiful. Oh, that's cool. that, that was in Montana. Oh, really? That's in Montana, yeah, actually. Where yeah. are you at in Montana? Um, in Big Sky. Big Sky, okay, yeah, it cool. Was Big Sky. Yeah. So I love snowboarding. I, I picked it up when I did Point Break. Yeah. I did the, 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 the reboot of Point Break. I mm -hmm. played Bodie's character, the one that, the one that Patrick Tracy yes. played in the first one. Yes. So I picked that up, and then from my boxing movie, uh, Hands of Stone, um, I got the watch from that, yeah. that is the, the, the premiere. Um, I picked up boxing, so for, from those characters, I, I, I That's a good, healthy thing. From this one, I, I mean, from Dr. Death, I try not to. Yeah, don't take. I don't take any. Don't yeah. take any of those, no, yeah, those moments yeah. with you. May, may, maybe some piece of cloth, because I mean, he, he yeah. dressed well. So, oh yeah, my just, God. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. you love that sometimes? You're like, so can I take this home? Of course, yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah, like my dad. Yeah. You're yeah, like, like your dad. dad. <laughs> like, oh, my. Yeah, I well, like that. Well, yeah. apple tree, you're not Exa far from it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Like, well, I really like these boots, can I have them? Yeah, because yeah. they're nice sometimes. Exactly. Like, can I find those anywhere else? Yeah. Um, okay, so wait, a movie that we watch so much in my household is Jungle Cruise, yeah. and we love you in that, but Thank your you. role is crazy. Thank you. you have all the gross things on you and coming out of your mouth yeah. and all the orifices, and I heard your mother was not a fan. Yeah, she's not a fan. She, and, and, and when she came to the premiere with me yeah. um, at Disneyland, and then, and then, it, it it went exactly how I imagined it. It's like the minute like the snakes start coming out of my face, then yeah. she said like, "You didn't tell me. You did it on purpose. You did it on purpose." And she covered her her eyes and I yeah. said, "Yeah, I did it on purpose." It's gnarly. They did a really yeah. good job. Yeah, that was, that was neat. I, I looked at my kids the very first time we watched it. And both of them were just like horrified. They were like, like it just frozen. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's they, such a great film. The snake coming out of my yeah. Eyes. Yeah. Is it weird to act like that? Like, is it obviously not, we're seeing it once it's done, but you're no, having to act no, like it. No, it's super easy because they put just like some dots on your face and then everything is just computer That does not magic. sound super easy, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're an actor and I'm not. Okay, well, let's do a commercial break, everybody. You can see the very creepy, very disturbed Dr. Death on Peacock. All right, we are back here with Edgar Ramirez. You can see him now in the Peacock series, Dr. Death. It's about a super creepy doctor who gets way, way too obsessed with his work, uh, which means it's time for us to talk about our much less creepy, uh, hopefully, uh, much less creepy <laughs> obsessions. Obsession. Oh. Well, I need to say it like Jesse next time. This is my problem. Um, I, it was very sexy. Um, <laughs> I'll hit this button right here, and a topic will be selected by our super janky supercomputer. Uh, the, the button does nothing. Then the person <laughs> obsessed with the topic will own up and sell everybody on it. So let's go. I'm first, because I say so. Okay. Okay. okay, what's up first? Oh, YouTube. Okay, 
So my son, he's seven, and he uh, loves drawing. Okay. And he figured out on YouTube, there's like tutorials that you can, literally they walk you through drawing. I can't draw okay. at all, like mm -hmm. not good at all. Mm -mm. And um, anyway, he, we follow them. We do them almost every night. <laughs> and we would do like the headless horseman. He was like, can you draw the headless horseman? I was like, no, I cannot do that. And then he found this thing and, and I ended up doing it. They, really, you should try it. You feel incredible when you're done. Um, but anyway, they take you step by step and we do it all the time. I have a latest one. I, show, okay, I brought sure. it so you could see. This is, look at that. Look at oh, that. Oh, it's very cute. Look. And here's the best part. The best part is that my son is not forgiving at all. And he's like, yeah, the hat is like way bigger than it looks, that the, that it should look. And I was like, I am so proud of this. Of and course. he was like, and just, he was like, yeah, it's just, he kept bringing up the hat. Yeah. And then I didn't want to be like, look at yours. But like, <laughs> like, <laughs> so I didn't do that. I didn't do that, but I sun. wanted to do it. I was <laughs> like, yeah, I felt pretty good about it, Edgar. It's, yeah, but, it's pretty nice. Just pretty nice. Yeah. I will try, I will try tutorials because I'm it's fun. I suck at drawing too. I'm not good yeah. at it either. No. But I will tell you, he totally turned me around on it. And th these people are amazing at how they teach you, like step by step. It's like a line, then a line, and then all of a sudden you're like, am I amazing? It's anyway, it's not that amazing. Anyway. Okay. No. What is this? <laughs> Sleeping with <laughs> like I do fuzzy this. socks. I can't Love it. if I'm not next to a body of water, my feet needs to be covered. I'm sorry, wait, what? If I'm, not, if I'm not in the water, meaning like on the beach yeah. or by a pool and my feet can touch the water, I need to cover my feet. Like my feet cannot you be- always wear always, socks. I always wear socks. Oh, I thought you so just- So I cannot, I mean, I, 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 I sleep naked. Do you ever do this thing where you get hot in the night though and you have to kick them off? But the, 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 like in the middle of the night, do you no, get never, hot and then you kick never. them off and then I put no, them back I kick, on in the morning? No, no I, kick off, I kick off the, the, the blanket, but yeah. never the socks. Yeah, oh. the socks stays on, yeah. See, I keep the blanket, yeah. kick off the socks, and then I put them yeah. back on in the morning because I'm cold. Yeah. We're weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah, uh, yeah. You I mean, I was just thinking that I, I, I do clip my, my toenails. Yeah. You know, so well, it's not about, you. it's not about like hiding my feet. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not like I'm like. They're not gnarly. You know, like my dad was a mili was, was in the military, yeah. so you know, like, 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 like. Like clean nails are important, yeah. you know. Yeah. And polish too. I'm like trying to hide um, mine right now. I'm like, uh, I don't know what mine look like right now, but yeah, mine always stay clean too. Um, I'm hiding them. Yeah. Well, look, they're, they're just beautiful. very basic. No, no, they're great. Like yeah. whatever. Okay, last one. This is Edgar's. Go ahead. What is this? Winter hats <laughs> shaped like animals. I mean, you gotta have some fun, right? Wait, uh, what? It, so. What? Well, uh, it's I just like win, like winter hats with like animal shit, like with funny, like funny I guess. Like you know? like a actual. Oh. There you yes. go. Yes, yeah. and you look like you're having a good time. Was, yeah. But you know, but you know, but you know, but you know what? That's uh, pictures. Pictures do lie. I was having such a bad time. I was so sick when I took oh. that picture. So sick, and I was having tea. I was having this Argentinian Uruguayan uh, mate. Tea, yeah. yeah, for the Argentinians. Is that really good for audience. you when you're sick? It's really good when you're sick. It's, it's good for everything. I want to know this like, Yeah, it's really okay. good. And, um, and I was wearing, yeah, my, uh, how do you call that frog? Like the, that frog? The frog? About, yeah. With Carmel? Carmel? Yeah. yeah. Carmel. Carmel. We're going to call him, we're going to call him Carmel though, yeah. Carmel, we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> The accent. Yeah, I love it, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Okay, those are our obsessions. <laughs> Peace out, y'all.